Hi all and welcome back with me, Silvia. In today's video, I am going to show you how to crochet this very easy bracelet. Before we start, I would like to say with this bracelet comes a little message. Black lives matter and all lives matter. Please spread the love, not the hate. So for today's project, uh, you will need some scissors and I'll be using four millimeter hook for the yarn I have chosen today. I'll be working with this uh, paint box, uh, Simply Chunky, but you use any yarn you prefer. And now uh, for this yarn, they recommend the hook size four. So that's why I'm using the hook size uh, four. I'll, and also you will need a white one, a black one and the red one. But feel free to use any yarn. For me, I love to use this mercerized uh, cotton yarn because I have quite a sensitive skin. So uh, the best yarn for the sensitive skin is the cotton but i didn't have a red one black one and the white one i only had this green one so i'll be using uh this acrylic yarn today and also the reason is this acrylic yarn is chunky so it's quite thick so you will be able to see the stitches much better and once you master these stitches then you can use cotton or even four ply cotton i like to work with these for the bracelets but for the beginners the best yarn is acrylic and much thicker and once you master it move on to much thinner yarn so we will need two romanian cords for this bracelet I already prepared my black one. I'll be working with the white one as with this um, black yarn, you won't be able to see the stitches at all. So let's try with the white one. And also I need to change my uh, working top. I'm going to show you how to create your Romanian cords first. You will need one white one and one black one. and with the red one we are going to put it together nicely okay before we start uh, our bracelet leave the longer end like this so you will need about 17 centimeters long yarn end and from that point where you measured then you are going to start your slip knot like so okay so i show you quickly we're gonna create our slip knot and then on this side it will become the string so we can tie the bracelet together okay so let's get started and i show you how to start the slip knot so we are going to start with the slip knot hold your yarn and like so on your four fingers wrap the yarn around your two fingers like so and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook and release And we are ready to start our Romanian cord. So now we are going to chain two. Yarn over and pull through the loop. And we need two chains. Okay, so I have one here and I need one more. And make sure the chains are not very tight okay so just nice tension okay so we are going to do single crochet into this very first 
chain here so not this one but this one here insert your hook yarn over pull through two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through like so now you are going to turn it clockwise and you will see this little vertical loop here as you can see it goes from the top it goes down like this and we're gonna work into this vertical loop and to do so we are going to insert the hook inside from right to left set your hook yarn over pull through yarn over again and pull through like so now you are going to turn it clockwise again but from now on we'll be working under these two vertical loops so we have one here and one here so insert your hook under this first one and straight away under the second one yarn over pull through two loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through again now you are going to do exactly the same again and again and that's gonna create our romanian cord okay so again we turn it clockwise like so and again you have two vertical loops it's very difficult <laughs> to work with the white yarn but you have one here and one here see so there are two vertical loops now again insert your hook under those vertical loops like so so you see there is one and two yarn over bring it up two loops on your hook yarn over again and pull through like so now turn clockwise and you will have again two vertical loops you're gonna insert your hook under these two vertical loops so there is so there is see there is one and two insert yarn over pull through yarn over again and pull through and again turn it clockwise and that's what you're going to do until you get the length you want for your bracelet so again one and two two vertical loops yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through turn it clockwise and again under these two where so carry on this way until you get the length you need for your wrist And don't make these stitches too tight try to make it nice and loose like so as you can tell it's looking really nice 
Okay, so once you are done with your cord and the length you want it, I like to measure it like this. So I just wrap it. And I like when um, both ends are like touching each other. So then I just uh, create a knot. So that's the length I like to have for my brace. And once you're happy with your length, don't forget on this side you will have to leave as well 17 centimeters long tail so we need to tie it together once the bracelet is finished so simply just fasten off like so so we're gonna once you have your last one like me okay so i'm gonna insert it like so i should go one more And then fasten off so simply just measure 17 centimeters and then cut the yarn off and fasten off like so make it nice and tight and you will need the black one to do exactly the same with the 17 centimeters long ends prepare your black one and i meet you back here and then i show you how to put these two cords together so we can finish our bracelet make sure your cords are the same length just to measure them like this put them next to each other okay so i still need a little bit okay okay so there is my there is my first stitch here and i find first stitch here and from this way from here you will see if the length up to this your last stitch okay so i done a little bit more than i was supposed to okay, okay and once you have your length just fasten off and leave the yarn and 17 centimeters as well Okay, now prepare your cords and you will see we will be we'll be working into these loops on the side you see so there are these tiny little loops on the side so you will have to turn it this way so on this side and on this side on this black one here you see so be working on the side stitches okay these stitches here okay dokie so now when we have our cords prepared we are going to get our red yarn ready which is going to represent the laugh for us all <laughs> but remember before you bring your red yarn make sure you will have this yarn and as long as the white one and the black one because we want to blend these at the end together okay so make sure you will leave this yarn and long okay bring your cord the first one is the white one and insert your hook from right to left like so into 
your very first stage. So my very first stage is this one. I remember we're working into these side stitches, okay? These loops. Okay, so you have one chord and the black one, the second chord, again, find the loop. I try to stretch it so you can see which one is your first. And insert the hook into this first loop, but from the top, like so. So I'm going from the top. And I'm going to insert it like so. And you will get two loops on your hook. Now, bring your yarn, the red yarn. Don't do any slip knots or anything. Simply just hook it like so. And bring it through the both loops like this so you got it on your hook the red one bring it through the black one and through the white one like this okay first step done keep your cord together now this end should go in the middle so it's not in the way and this one, you are going to make it nice and tight so the loops are all together. Now yarn over and bring it up like so. So this is our first step. First stitch is always the most trickiest one, but then it's gonna get easier, I promise. Now, gonna keep this in the middle for now and we are going to find a next stitch okay so my next one is this one here as you can see the loop okay so again i'm going to insert my hook from right to left like so and on the black cord from the top okay from the top like this okay now again bring the yeah the, the red one yarn over and now you are going to pull through the black one first and then the white and red see not to worry, I'm going to show you again. Try to tighten a little bit so the stitches are nicely together. And again, you can also leave it just between the cord so it's not in the way. So first, find the next stitch. Insert your hook like this. On the black one from the top the next stitch so my next one is it's difficult to see but my next one is here I'm inserting my hook from the top now I bring my red one again yarn over pull through the black one first through the white one and the red one see and it's looking really lovely already so again leave the red yarn just between find the next stitch insert from right to left on the black one from the top insert as you can see three lovely loops on your hook bring the red one yarn over pull through the black one and white and red there you go beautiful
see it's mixing lovely together <laughs> okay again into the next stitch here and then the black one here three loops bring the red from the middle into the action <laughs> yarn over pull through the black one and then white and red together there you go beautiful and again i'm going to show you maybe two three times and then i'll let you finish it okay so again go red one here insert into the white one from right to left into the black one from the top like so three loops bring the red yarn over pull through black one and white and red together and if you pull the red yarn a little bit makes it nice and tight okay so let's do the next one from right to left insert your hook into the white cord and into the black one from the top three loops black white and red bring the yarn the red yarn pull through the black and pull through the white and red and not to worry if you can see the white one here if you pull it like this little bit it will hide under this under this red one okay so one more time you're gonna carry on and i meet you in the end to show you how to finish your bracelet okay insert your hook into the next stitch then into the black one from the top three loops bring your red one yarn over pull through and pull through white and red now my last one is here bring the red one yarn over pull through the black one and pull through both white and red like so now yarn over and pull through like this we are going to fasten up and don't forget 17 centimeters or even longer it's up to you if you want your strings to be long then you can leave it longer and fasten off like so and you should have both sides the same so my black one is a little bit longer but doesn't really matter okay so your side should be the same and once you are done you can also if you have the bead you can add your bead here and pull a thread this ends or you can just simply make a knot it's up to you really or there is one more option actually you can braid them together you can make a knot i like to make a knot first make a knot make a knot like so in the middle i'm going to put the scissors here and now you can simply just braid them together so if you have many options you can add the bead and just leave it like this or you can just braid them together like so on both sides 
and once you are done with your sides and you're happy with the length simply just make a knot with all three together like so and of course you can add the bead at the end and then do a knot it's up to you just use your imagination as much as you can okay and do so on both sides and this is it guys this is our beautiful bracelet i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and don't forget to check my playlist for the crochet bracelets for some really great ideas so please if you like this video don't forget to like my video share my video and of course don't forget to subscribe to next stitch designs with me sylvia thank you very much for watching and please remember spread the love not the hate